Um, I was initially drawn to eventing. Um, I started doing it in Pony Club, it was just part of the Pony Club um, program and I guess I really enjoyed the, the fact of riding cross country. That was, and I think most people who event, um, that is the key thing to, um, that, we, that we do it for, the thrill of riding cross country, but also it's, it's the challenge, it's the all round nature of the event where you have to have the discipline and the training and control to ride the dressage, you have to do the cross country element, and then you also have to come out and jump around of show jumping at the end of it. So it's the, it's the all round discipline that uh, I think I really enjoy about eventing. Well, I've been fortunate enough in my long career that I've had several highlights. Uh, I guess one of the main, the main highlights was uh, winning my first uh, Olympic gold medal on Charisma back in 1984 and then uh, four years later repeating that again on Charisma in Seoul, winning the gold medal again. Another particular high was when I, after my um, eight year sabbatical from eventing from the year 2000, I came back and uh, with the horse Land Vision, managed to win badminton again. So that was a big thrill. My favorite horse I'm gonna have to say has been Charisma. Um, and he's probably the horse that uh, I'm certainly most famous for, the horse that won the two Olympic gold medals. My first pony that I learned to ride on was actually a neighbor's pony called Shamrock. She was a little 12 2 hand Shetland and who taught an awful lot of people to ride and she certainly taught me how to stick on. My first pony my grandfather bought for me, he was a 13 2 uh, dark brown gelding called Nugget. Um, he was a reasonable all-rounder and certainly got me started in pony club. My one bit of advice, I mean in this, in this country I think we are so fortunate in that you have so many of the top riders in the world based in this country that you have an immediate, and, and certainly with, um, with internet today, you can watch and study the best riders in the world, how they, they ride on the flat, on cross country and eventing. And I would have learnt over the years more by watching um, and watching the top riders and good riders ride than I have learned probably having lessons, so I think my one bit of advice would be when you have the opportunity, watch the very good riders and study closely what they do.